All right, well, I'm going to make a quick video on, a, on how to make a do-it-yourself box pinhole projector to see the eclipse coming up on August 21st, 2017. My area is going to be 99.1% covered. Not quite total, but I could travel 40 miles south to get totality, but already sounds like there's chaos on the roads from Oregon to South Carolina here where I am that uh, I'm not going to get involved with, so I can watch it from my backyard and already the solar eclipse uh, glasses are all gone from what I can tell locally. So I'm going to make a couple of boxes because my folks are coming over actually and they wanted to get some glasses but couldn't get them. Now I've already got a solar viewer that I got this online from eBay and it's like basically like a welding shield and this is perfect but I only got one of them so I figured well I'll let them use it if they want but I may use this one and they can use boxes. <laughs> so let's go make a couple of projectors, shall we? All right, so I got a, basically a sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper that I've cut in half, a couple pieces of small tin foil to go over the hole where the sun will be coming in, and a couple of boxes. I've already made holes in them here. So I made a hole right there, and basically on the outside, basically I use a screwdriver like this, just punctured a hole in, kind of wallowed it out a little bit, and then I'll put some tin foil over it to kind of reflect, um, or actually give it like a crisper uh, image of the sun going through the hole there. So, yeah, got one box there, and I got another box here. So, let's see. Yeah, this is one that got the hole in this one as well. So, yep, put some tin foil over that. And then where the hole is there, I'll tape a piece of paper on the other side. So that way it'll get a good image of the sun when the eclipse happens. Alright, let me get a new piece of aluminum foil right here. And just some simple masking tape to hold it in place. Something like that there, if you will. And of course, just go ahead and poke your hole through. Should be right in here somewhere. I know it is. There it is. Right there. I'm going to go inside here to fold the rough edges down. paper on the inside. Be probably yeah, yeah, somewhere like that. Okay, simple as that. So now what we'll do I'll take the camera off the tripod here and we'll test it out. So what you want to do is have your back to the sun. See I've got a little bit of sun right here, so this will be a good spot to test it. Then you want to put the pinhole side facing towards the sun so it'll get the reflection like that. If you can see it, I'm holding it with one hand here. Let me try and get balanced. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So there's the sun. And you'll be able to see the eclipse once uh, it starts happening. 
so not bad pretty simple so yeah if you're out of luck trying to get some solar eclipse glasses well make yourself a projector box and watch the eclipse this way and uh, yeah enjoy go ahead and make one more while I'm I've got the box out here so I'll go do that now okay more piece of tape Screwdriver hole, hot wire, round it on the inside. Alright, piece of paper. Test that one out. Okay, let's get the pinhole. Let's see, about like that. There we go. It works perfect. Pretty simple. And probably won't cost you hardly anything if you got a box big enough to put around your head, basically. That's long enough something elongated so you can get a good good view so well I'm ready for the Eclipse so well these boxes are but I'll be using more advanced stuff with the camcorder and try to use my telescope and project it on my privacy fence there but we'll see how that works if it doesn't I'll have the camcorder at least and my solar viewing glasses so I'll be good to go but there you go Quick and easy projector box for the solar eclipse, so enjoy and don't burn out your eyes. Alright, just a follow up to this video. Yeah, I went ahead and made the hole too big doing further research and yeah, this is a clear image if you use a pinhole. So that's what I've done here. Did a uh, pinhole on the box, basically used another piece of tin foil and then put a pinhole on it so you get a better, sharper image of the, the eclipse. So, yeah, we'll test the other box. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Just like that. So you'll be able to see the eclipse much clearer. Again, there's a pinhole with a piece of tin foil. And let's see, get to where the sun is. I got, there we go. I got trees that I'm dealing with here trying to make this video so there we go that's better I think I still got a branch that I'm picking up but yeah that'll be much better much better and sharper image of the Sun so a little tricky but yeah that's a lot better. 
So yeah, just a follow up to the to the video. Yeah, I think I made the hole too big originally, so I just thought I'd add this on to it. But yeah, yeah, do a pinhole for a sharper image for the eclipse. So all right, well, till the next thrilling video. Adios.